Welcome to Room 6, the channel dedicated to the local music scene and the people that make it, including me. I'm Josh, and today we're back at another songwriter showcase at Soul Belly Barbecue, hosted by Hal Savar, and featuring some of Vegas' best local and not-so-local talent. This event is also live-streamed every Sunday at 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time on this channel, so if you can't make it to the venue, you don't have to miss out on the show. I'll put the live stream link for this particular showcase down in the description. While you're down there, please consider subscribing and ringing the bell so you don't miss out on any reviews, interviews, live streams, and more. Thanks! If you're a musician that wants to be featured on the showcase, hit up Hal using his social media handle that's down there as well. If you want to help out the channel, well, please click the Room 6 social media link down there uh, for various ways that you can help me support the music scene and make better videos. Now then, let's check out some tunes and grab some grub. Um... Is it cool if we split the bill? I'm still waiting on my Patreon money. Hint, hint. First off, a huge shout out to every performer from this evening. You all brought your A-game. It was one for the books. If you weren't there, you owe it to yourself to watch the live stream by clicking that link down in the description after this video. You'll thank me. Kicking the show off like usual was our host, Hal Savar. Hal's day job is being a human jukebox, either solo or with his band, and if you get the chance to check them out, you should definitely take it. One of the things I like about Hal's music is that there's a story behind every song. It really helps the listener to feel where he's coming from. Hal always does a great job warming up the crowd and getting things started right. After Hal was showcase regular Quinn Turner, but this time he decided to add a little spice. Why is it spicy? Quinn's music also speaks of hope and love for others, but tonight was all about steaming up the crowd with his steamy songs about loving. Always a treat and a great way to kick off the night. First introduced to the showcase audience by fellow performer Krista Kidd, Just Jeff was next, and this time he brought company. I don't care if we have to throw everything out. I want this place looking like a new Mediterranean fusion restaurant by noon. Ah! Cosplaying as Johnny Cash with an all-black ensemble, Jeff was joined by guitarist Rick Munson, sporting a magnificent beard and even better hat. This was Jeff's third visit to the showcase, and it's obvious he's enjoying himself on stage. His music is fun and clever, and the addition of electric guitar from Rick made it even better. Great job, guys. The next act was Lisa McFarlane, better known as Lisa Mack. I haven't seen Lisa in years, so I was super excited to see what she had to offer. Lisa's been tearing up the local music scene in Utah before moving back to Vegas, and the scene is better for it. With passionate guitar playing backing up powerhouse vocals, she made everyone sit up and pay attention. It was also the first of many acts that night that would get the crowd clapping and singing along. From one powerhouse to another, the next act was showcase favorite Johnny Fab. If you haven't seen Johnny Fab perform yet, you're missing out. His mastery of the piano is matched by his vocal phrasing and ability to draw the listener in like he's sharing secrets from his soul. As a bonus, he surprised everyone by covering a song by our host, Hal Savar, titled Heaven. This version was completely different, yet identifiable, and Hal was gobsmacked. That means he was speechless. A rare feat in itself. Speaking of our host, Hal jumped back on stage for a couple more tunes, and this time, he brought company! I want this place looking like a new Mediterranean fusion restaurant by noon! Joined by recent Room 6 guest Amati the Drummer, who also created Intuitive Soul, Hal took everything the previous acts did and turned the dial up to ridiculous. This set a very high bar for the next act to meet, and everyone wondered what would happen. Fortunately, a new face on the showcase stage, TJ Lavin, was next. Despite being his first time and having to follow the amazingness that preceded him, TJ seemed calm and ready. TJ was not only ready, he was able too. Combining rapid fire lyrics that flowed like rap with appropriate guitar chords, TJ did a great job of hitting the reset button on the night in an awesome way. I'm looking forward to getting him on the channel soon. In a night of surprises, twists, and turns, the next act had a surprise of their own. Performing only one song that was intended to be with a track, Get Addicted Mafia opted to go a cappella when technical difficulties derailed their plans. A blend of spoken word and singing, their performance was quick but let everyone know they were talented and we can expect more from them in the future. Sharing time between Canada and Vegas, 
The next act was Jan Jan, who we've seen perform with collaborator James Pasqua right here. But this time, she was flying solo, blending her beautiful voice and captivating vocal runs with mood-setting guitar chord structures, Jan Jan proceeded to transport everyone there to memories of past loves met and lost. She is, in the words of Hal Savar, a unicorn of a person and an amazing talent. Frequent showcase guest David Wax was next, and he basically proceeded to put on, yet again, another clinic on telling a great story and also letting your guitar share some of the spotlight. You can always count on David to put in a solid performance and basically make everyone feel like they're listening to this story while sitting over drinks with him. Back at Soul Belly for the second time, Norman Kim was up next. Norman is an amazing talent. And the best part is, he's very unassuming on stage. But as soon as he opens his mouth to sing, and you watch the amazing chords that he puts together, you're just transfixed. Norman's music ran the gamut from Broadway musical style to clever wordplay like Jason Mraz to just a straight ahead love song. And we were all blown away by number one, the intricate chords and also number two, the mastery he has over his song phrasing and his vocals. And honestly, I'm so excited that he's gonna be coming on the show for an interview and a performance. And yeah, keep it up, Norman. It's been a while since he's graced us with his presence, but Robert Stokes is back, and this time, he brought company. Ah! Aside from his own music, Robert also is the co-front person for local cover band, Default Valentine. This time, he was joined on stage by his bandmate and fellow co-front person, Britannia Giordano, who, coincidentally, is also in a singing group with recent interview guest, Bridget Riley. That interview will be posting soon, so subscribe and stay tuned. As the last act of the night, besides our host, Hal, Robert and Britt did a great job of wrapping up the entire amazing evening into a neat package and putting a bow on it. Combining the upbeat ska and rocksteady vibes of Robert's original music with the lilting harmonies and grace that Britannia brings to the stage, they made an incredible evening even better. The best part was when Britannia's daughter, Zia, was pulled on stage. This adorableness overloaded the audience and put a nice nightcap on Default Valentine's set and the evening. Finishing out the night was our host, Hal, who treated everyone to a song from his youth that none of us had heard before. It was touching and powerfully emotive and a nice departure from his usual fare. Overall, this edition of the Songwriter Showcase at Soul Belly Barbecue was the best one yet, and I hope to see you at the next one, Sunday, 7 p.m., either in person or on the live stream, Pacific Standard Time. I can't wait. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I hope that we'll see you either in person or on the live stream Sunday at 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time at Soul Belly Barbecue on Main Street, downtown Las Vegas. Um, it's, it's an awesome time, and it's a really great atmosphere for uh, new or veteran songwriters. So come on down. And in the meantime, if you want to see more videos like this, please click up here. If you'd like to subscribe to the channel, it would really make a difference. Please click down there. Don't forget to ring the bell. Yeah, remember to be amazing, and we'll see you next time on Room 6.